real numbers and their subsets intervals now if you see basically the collection of real number is a largest collection okay let's say there are any two real numbers x and y and x is less than y okay now there will be certain numbers i mean let's say simultaneously i'll also explain it to you let's say this is 8 and 12 Okay. Right? So let's put it like this. Then, suppose you take a set Y or whatever you want to take, because Y is here, let's not confuse it, M such that x now if you see this particular equation this can be broken into two parts which says that m is greater than x which is this piece and m is greater than y, which is this piece. Sorry, m is not greater than y, m is less than y. So if you see here, m is greater than y, which is 8, so you can have 9, 10, 11. Can you also have 12? No, because m is less than y, which is 12. So when you denote these numbers, these are called the open interval. And written down as x, y. Please note the most important thing that we have here is this bracket. This basically represents that it is open. And this also represents that this is open. Okay? And what does this mean? That all the points between these two numbers, anything which will falls here, just like for example 9, 12, 10, 11, fall within this interval. Right? So this is known as open interval. Let's see the second one, which is closed interval. Now when you use the closed interval, you put in the signs like this. This represents the closed interval. And what is closed interval? It includes x and y. So if in this particular equation, I would have written m such that x So in this case, by putting this equal to sign, I am also including x and y here. So this number which was there will get slightly enlarged to include 8 and 12. So when you include both this and this, this and this, then it becomes a closed interval. Right? Now, you can have one-sided interval also, where you can kind of write x, y. So it is open from this side, it is closed from this side, which means that if you write m, so 
so this is this side which is x is included here in m but this y is not or you can write this as x y and close it from here so this signifies a closure such that x m so whichever side is closed there you put in equal to or less than indicating that this element is included this you basically write as open interval from x to y and this you write as open interval from y to x okay 